Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, it is Monday, the start of a new week, I hope you are all doing well, I do, I did a weekend full of football, I saw at the moment 7 games of 7, I am super energetic, and one thing is sure, I love football, I love so much football, but another thing that is also sure is, I miss Juventus guys, I miss Juventus and at the moment, we don't have a lot of news, especially in terms of Mercato, the players that will come in, so we are expecting at least news on the management this week because I told you already so many times if the management is not confirmed we can't start with the Mercato and we will see in the words of Morata in a few minutes that he's also confirming this so we start with the first news without any intro I want to go really fast today Gazzetta dello Sport is reporting the best news of the weekend actually because they are dedicating their big page on Eriksen, Christian Eriksen, the player of Inter and Denmark, because he was playing, you know what happened, I don't want to repeat it, but he said because he's feeling better now, grazie a tutti, non mollo, thank you to everyone, I don't give up, I feel relieved so much guys, I really feel relieved, I feel better, because that would have been a disaster, so thank you for everything i'm happy for ericsson and thank you also for all the people on the channel that, that that were writing words of support towards ericsson the second news of the day it is official now fabio paratici ex manager of juventus is announced by tottenham Hotspurs as their new manager he will start on the 1st of July he's already operative let's see if we will have some uh, negotiation between Juve and Tottenham for players let's see if some players that we don't want anymore will go to Tottenham let's see if we can have some players some players a striker from Tottenham to Juventus let's see what will happen there but I want to wish the best of luck to Fabio Paratici and then we start with the news of Tutto Sport who is actually reporting two names Morata and Buffon Morata Juve resto Morata Juve I will stay and then Buffon Parma Torno Buffon is saying Parma I come back we will go through these news and then they are also speaking about for sure Eriksen also on Tutor Sport so what about Morata he said I will stay at, I will stay he didn't say that literally but he said that he already spoke with Juventus and everything is okay he's wishing for a better year uh, at Juve let's see it will be with him or not but it's 99% sure that he will be together with Juve also next year but one thing that he said and it is really important is until it is official until there are officialities I can't say no more why because that's why I started the video with explaining you that first the management because they are for sure already working but as long as it's not official the new restructuring of Juventus you will not see a lot of Mercato news but there are a lot of rumors and we will go to there and the first one is that Gianluigi Buffon he chose not with his brain but with his heart and he wants to go back to Parma a contract of two years until 2023 he will go back to Serie B he will go back to the first team the first love of his life Parma and his dreams are two he has two dreams the first one is go back to Serie A with Parma immediately after one year and maybe being the third goalkeeper at the World Cup in Qatar let's see one thing is sure Parma will in Serie B probably have one more supporter and that's me because I wish the best for Gianluigi Buffon Donnarumma instead because we are speaking about goalkeepers he will not go to Juve he will not go to Parma he he will go to PSG it's apparently really imminent and on Wednesday the medicals can already be done and then probably this week he can be announced a bit lower uh, salary that we thought we were speaking about 12 million a year apparently now it's 10 million plus two of bonus he will not be uh, given on loan as other rumors were saying but he will compete for a first spot with Kaylor Navas let's see but uh, from now on from the moment it will be official I don't want to speak too much about Donnarumma even if for me it is a uh, pity a big pity but it is what it is and I fully trust Chesney we continue with Elvin who was actually reporting the words of Gazzetta dello Sport about Max Allegri apparently Max Allegri wants to continue one more year also with Chiellini and also with Bonucci but especially Chiellini he needs him for on the field for certain games but also for the locker room if it is the Chiellini that we saw at Euro 2020 together with Italy, for me, I'm super fine with that. Let's see if he can uh, be healthy. One football is reporting another rumor, the one of Barcelona that is really obsessed with Matez de Ligt. They really want Matez de Ligt so much 
it will not happen. They are seeing Barca won the league and Leicester, I continue as Manchester United hold further Sancho talk. Speaking about Premier League, but the obsession of Barcelona for the league, guys. Uh, stay away from Matez, our boy. We speak about the defense because a lot of names uh, were reported for the defense. Mary Demiral, apparently. Atalanta is really, really strong, in strongly interested in Mary Demiral. Uh, if, if we know that Juventus keeping him is not a hundred percent sure, uh, we were talking about him going to. Premier League now Atalanta is really hard will we do the same thing as we did with Romero giving him to Atalanta why not but then we have to cash in for me it's 50 million at least the big problem is the salary of Mary Demiral Atalanta if you can't pay the salary uh, it's a pity for you Dragujin, another defender uh, apparently they are speaking about him at Crystal Palace in Premier League but the player wants to prove actually in the summer camp to Allegri that he can be a Juve player for the first team we go to the midfield with Pjanic. Kuman really doesn't want Pjanic, he doesn't believe in him and there are already talks about a loan to Juve, not for only one year but eventually even for two years of Pjanic. I told you Pjanic, if we don't have to pay that salary on loan for one or two years as a second option, so not a starter, why not? But there are a lot of if, if, if. Ramsey, that's a player that should go away, he's reporting actually words that he's not happy that he wants to leave. Juventus is not happy with him so will it be actually uh, a player that we will not see anymore in our team it can be but again here the salary is another problem again again it's always a salary guys if we pay too much to our players then the problem is when we want to sell them they are unsellable and then Dybala Dybala he wants actually um, to continue the talks about his contract but but Dybala say I need some guarantees because I'm really not satisfied with the 10 million euros so first of all he's not uh, happy with the value of the salary that Juventus is proposing that's one and the second thing he wants some guarantees on the field tech tactically and technically uh, guys uh, Dybala we want some guarantee we as supporters we want some guarantee that you can perform and that you are healthy not as in 2021 so before talking too much first show what you can do show that at 28 because you will be 28 you can give us what you want and then we can talk about more than 10 million or guarantee that you will be a starter even if it's undeniable that you are a big 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 talent Cristiano Ronaldo always the same story at the moment no news he will decide his future himself if he is able actually and if he's available to lower his salary under the 31 million euro that he's receiving at Juve he could go to Paris Saint-Germain or to Manchester United or maybe to another club uh, otherwise he will stay at Juve these are the words at the moment and if he leaves probably Juventus will go for a striker at the moment the names are Gabriel Jesus Icardi Milik but also Vlaovic a big list and I believe that if you Juventus is not buying yet is because we need actually to understand who will stay Dybala with his problems with his contract or uh, Ronaldo if he wants to continue with Juve or no we finish with uh, some Euro 2020 news Nessuno come l'Italia uh, Corriere, de Corriere dello Sport is actually praising the beautiful performance of Italy because they are saying at the moment uh, with the seven game that we saw Italy was the best team uh, Italy Giorginio is really speaking as a leader you know and I already told you that I was never a big fan of Jorginho but he's uh, starting to grow uh, I start to have uh, some consideration for him Verratti will be there and that's a good news for a uh, uh, for a Mancini he will probably not start the next game versus Switzerland but for um, probably the, the third game L'Inglaterra sorride England is uh, is uh, smiling because yesterday they won 1-0 uh, versus Croatia I was thinking that it would have it would have been a 2-1 1-0 I was really 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 impressed by Phillips what a player I didn't really know him well but yesterday what a performance from the guy hey guys uh, I was looking at transfer market 30 million value for sure if he continue like that it will boom but if Juventus could have a player like Davis mamma mia Pandev Pandev scored uh, the first goal for uh, North Macedonia but unfortunately they lost 3-1 Austria I repeat it for me it will be not the winner but a beautiful surprise of that tournament and we finish with the Netherlands 
Netherlands yesterday. The Netherlands won, won 3 2 after a crazy game. What a beautiful game to finish yesterday's uh, Euro 2020 games with a 3 2. They were winning 2 0, 2 2 after uh, actually a disaster. Disaster, but beautiful goals of Ukraine. Disaster of Netherlands. And then uh, the guy, the guy, uh, Dumfries, he, he actually uh, scored the winning goal after missing two before. That was it for the news, guys. Today we'll have other games to see three games scotland there will be spain uh, there will be poland let me know who you will support thank you forza you bet